Good morning. It is Wednesday. Good to be with you today. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, we are looking forward to tonight as far as Wednesday night services at Northern Park Baptist Church. And of course, if you can come, I uh, would encourage you to do so. Uh, tonight, we're actually having a class for our teens and a class for children uh, as they come. And so that's on Wednesday nights. And we haven't had that for a while, but now we're kind of opening that back up. Obviously taking precautions and things like that, but uh, uh, we are excited for that. So praise the Lord. And uh, we hope and pray things go well there. Well, let's get started with our devotion this morning. Um, Romans chapter 8. And notice if you would, again, we're talking about uh, the us factor here in, in Romans chapter 8. And, and so uh, we looked at, first of all, and on Monday, we looked at God is for us. And yesterday, we looked at uh, that God delivered him up for us. And so this morning, we're looking, notice if you would with me in verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, that was yesterday. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So freely give us all things. Did you know that God gives his children things? He does. He, God is that good of a God. He, we don't have to earn them. We don't have to uh, pay for them because you know what, don't you? Jesus Christ already paid uh, the, the, the price of sin. He already did. But because of that, there are so many things that God's children get freely. In other words, obviously, it's not that we don't that we don't uh, deserve it because we don't. It's not that we, uh, you know, we it is owed to us. No, it's not. But we have such a wonderful God that gives us things freely. In other words, without a doubt, and and of course, one would ask, what are those things? Well. To to though there there's uh, so many things and that's not our purpose this morning to go through all of them. But things that come with salvation, those things are freely given to us because of Jesus Christ and because of what God did by sending His only begotten Son. Uh, we've got so many things that uh, are given to us freely. You know, we have access to to God by Jesus Christ. Uh, no problem for us. Did you know that because of the Spirit of God living inside of us, God gives us uh, the fruit of the Spirit in us? And, and uh, can I tell you, it's not that we deserve that at all, but God gives us. The love of God is given to us. I mean, I can go on and on and on. I'm just telling you and encouraging you today. You know, I don't know about you, but aren't you, aren't you glad that that there are things that are given to us. Aren't you glad when you receive things free? Well, obviously, a lot of times somebody paid for that. Can I tell you, all the things that God gives his children, folks, may we not take it for granted. May we not uh, uh, think that we deserve this because we don't. May we always be reminded of a, what a wonderful God we serve. And you know what? He loves you so much. He has given you and I so many things freely. And I tell you, may we take advantage of it. May we, may we use it for his honor and for his glory because God has given us so many things to accomplish what God would have for us in our lives. God has given us what we need to live for him. So today, may we be thankful. Oh, sure, we may not have everything this world has, but that's okay. God has given us so much more freely that we need to do what he would have us to do. May the Lord bless you today as you relish and be thankful for the things that God has freely given you. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for giving. Lord, you, you are so good to us. You really are. And Lord, uh, today, may, may we all stop and say thank you for your goodness and how, 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 because of Jesus Christ, we have so many things. 
And so, Father, thank you. For it's in Jesus' name I ask these things. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.